Thanks. For, can you hear me? Yeah. So, friends, thanks for. Sorry. Not very well. Right, I'm close to him. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Well, thanks, for, friends, for coming today. Um, I want to thank Ria for introducing me as the. Uh, this is my campaign, but of course it's not. Um, it's our campaign as residents. It's, I want to acknowledge, of course, the fantastic work of the West Connects Action Group and the other groups who have been organising against this dismal project for uh, so long. Um, and of course, thank the Lord Mayor for her excellent and uh, well, you know, uh, well welcome advocacy and strong advocacy on this issue. I mean, putting it in the context that you did, Lord Mayor, about global warming, about the whole uh, trajectory of urban design and the, what the city should be is absolutely important for us to understand. I think the other thing I would like to stress is that this is a, um, a failure of our democracy, in a sense. Yes. The, 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 the fact that we have uh, an organisation such as the Sydney Motorways Corporation using billions, and it is billions, of taxpayer funds to ram through a project into, into high density uh, and medium density suburbs in such a destructive and unconsultative way without any accountability back to the parliament, without being subject to um, freedom of information laws is an absolute scandal. Can you uh, remember a time when such things were permitted. Maybe in the Askin, 60s. Askin, 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 that's right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Mm. More than a generation ago. So we're going backwards. Yeah. Mm. And the reason we're going backwards is because they're taking us for granted. So the fact that we have this turnout today is so encouraging. On behalf of the residents, I can tell you it is immensely encouraging to see you here. Before I finish, I want to let you know what the impacts of this uh, the, uh, project is, how it came about, give you a sense about how um, how ridiculous, how unaccountable, how anti-democratic their procedures are. In 2015 we learnt that they would be widening the road. We knew that they would be widening the road because we bought a, um, an apartment here and it permitted road widening. But we wanted to know how close the road would come. The EIS happened there were no details. There were no details on the air quality or noise um, impacts for this area, but yet the EIS led to the approval of the project. We persisted in asking them, how close will the road come? How close will those extra 50,000 vehicles come every day? And they wouldn't tell us. Over 12 months, they wouldn't tell us. What is the final design plan? They wouldn't tell us until the 8th of March. And we learned, of course, that that bedroom there will come within 1.8 metres. Traffic will come within 1.8 metres of that child's bedroom. Is that a shame? That's an absolute scandal. Right? Royal Commission. That's what we found out on the 8th of March. Since then, we've been trying to find out, well, what, are we, what, what else could we do? We found out, of course, that the other side of the road has a perimeter, probably double what we're going to get. Commercial buildings have got double the perimeter between them and the seven-lane highway, then residents in 90 apartments. Now, no one wants to live with this road, so I don't want to force more damage onto others. Nobody does want to do that. But what were the options? Who knew what the design options were for this ridiculous road? Now, we don't support the road at all, but when it comes to the detail of how it was ro rolled out, you can see that there is a culture, a practice of bullying and of corporate, yes. um, yeah, corporate bullying on behalf of the government with your money to fall through a project that you don't need, that nobody needs. Absolutely. This is an absolute scandal. Yes. So, uh, thank you for your presence today. We need to keep this fight up. Right, we need to keep this up until there's a change in the decision. It's fantastic to hear that the Lord Mayor is seeing the Premier next week. Yeah. Let's see what we can do to back her to get something out of that meeting. But we're probably going to do, have to do much more than that. Yeah. Thanks for your attendance today. Yeah.